Well, good morning, beautiful people. Um, believe I, see you. Believe it or not, we're actually starting today's vlog in what was because we've been in get some fuel, they're getting some breakfast, and we're going to Kenny Space Center, so we're going to be on the road for about the next hour and a bit. So we thought, what better way place to start the vlog than standing in what was <laughs> getting some fuel? Uh, Kennedy Space Center today, we might be going to Cocoa Beach. Depending on what the weather's like later on, because apparently yeah. it's going to rain, but it's still hot in Florida anyway, so when it rains, oh, so still, yeah. we might still go anyway. But, yeah, in one wash, getting some coffee, getting some breakfast. Like this is the size of the coffee cup on my head. And she's got a big head. And it's got four shots of coffee in it. And you're not scared of me. She has a lot of me coffee, though. No, yes, she didn't my one. No, I still have a coffee. You make me a special coffee, you still didn't make me one. <laughs> so I'm now going to go and get upset. Bye. Deb was just talking about the size of her coffee. Mine's here, 24 ounces. 24 ounces? Yeah, mine's a 24 And then we've just ounce, seen the fact that Emma... <laughs> Stick that up against the side of your head, Emma. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere near her to deal like she's drinking that much coffee. She'll be bouncing off the ceiling. And then it turns out that that's not even the biggest cup. They also do an extra large coffee as well. Deb, stick your coffee up against that one. Makes mine look like a small. You got like a little diddy cup? That's ridiculous. What's going on with the size of the coffee cups in this country? It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So do you reckon that I'd get away with drinking one of them cups, extra, extra large cups of coffee? No. Is that uh, some Smarties in as well? Oh, just a, oh, some Smarties and in and a little shot of Red Bull for the side. That, that would, I, I would be bouncing for a month if I had a cup of coffee like that. Like that was up. That's just, <coughs> it's just, they're just unnecessary them like. Fun, but unnecessary. Welcome to Kennedy Space Centre. Them some kind of big fuel rockets that they've got up in front of there. Like, I can't wait to get in and have a look. So then, we're finally at Kennedy Space Centre. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm excited. That's before we even start. Some glass. I'm fangirling at the shuttle. Some, gla some glasses on already before we even get in. It's not because of the sun. Proper launch con downs in that man. You can just see the tip of the, the, the rockets over the other side, which we'll be going to in a minute. And then you've got the, the boosters over there that they use the, that they use to power the shuttles and that to get them into space. You've got the Universal Ball, you've also got the NASA Ball as well. And again, just with the fuel rockets just behind it. One awesome sight this is, like, awesome sight. LRD, LRD is go, SRO. Um, we're gonna have a wander around. I don't. I haven't got a clue where. I've put you picked up a map of the area. Um, I don't know where we're going. Uh, I think we're just gonna follow a few people in that book. Yeah, just getting in here. Just getting in here just looks awesome, and I'm really looking forward to the day. Like, let's let's find Deb. So on on a scale of one to ten, how, how, how much are you looking forward to the day? Million. Million. This is just like, it doesn't feel real out here. It really doesn't. And our Cal must be excited because he's just walked past and hasn't <laughs> made any kind of gesture to the camera or Al anything. So just to give you an idea of the scale of that, that's Deb standing next to the bins and then we've got all of that. So yeah, it's a little bit big. Is it get big? It's huge. And you can even get yourself up and sit in one of the capsules. Like, if this was a real control panel. Like, yeah, I'm just 
just going to see if I can switch to the other camera so I can get the whole thing in. But yeah, that's the control panel for this with all the switches on. Me thinks not! So the boys getting inside the capsule. <laughs> Apart from none of us can actually reach the buttons. <laughs> Alright, oh, Rob, you can do it. Do it, you can get out. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. There's Mr. Nod going in. He's like your kid, man. <laughs> yes. The amount of buttons and twiddly things and twisty things and noblets and all kinds of stuff going on in here. I think we're uh, I think we're struggling here like I know I'm clever but I'm not that clever. I don't actually know what we're going into now but all this is just on on hot like Let's have a look. Oh the air conditioning is dead nice in here though. Definitely It's like going to the Guardians of the Galaxy, but real. Always explore. Explore, explore, explore. Wow. Can I get one of them, please? I don't want a Christmas tree, no, I want one of them. <laughs> we just want the fuel. Get one of them as a Christmas tree and put some. We just, we just want the fuel boosters. That looks cool. Launch this rocket. So we're gonna get to 18 kilometers. Least option and see if we can get this one to go. Counting down. Did I did I launch or did I crash? I crashed. Oh well, good job about an astronaut in it. Because I've got a few of that and it just didn't work. I do apologise for anybody watching this vlog. I'm, I'm conscious that I'm not speaking very much at the moment, but that's because I'm just in total awe of what's going on around here. It is just absolutely awesome. To walk into one of the modules as well. It's kind of like where everything is. Got like your hydrate, your hygiene kits, urine filters. Just basically stuff you've got to have to keep yourself alive while you're actually on it here. And I'll tell you what, if one of them wires goes off, I would hate to be the one who's actually going to trace it back. Because... Look at that, if you blow a fuse in here, where well, you can't even knock it, like... I'm assuming the, these are your capsules to actually sleep in. Yeah, because if you see up there, you've got bits and bobs and where they've got pictures drawn and stuff, where the family are like, giving stuff to... We mind them at home while they're up, up in space. And then we've got an example of a meal. We've got, we've got beef steak, we've got cookies, spinach, coffee, cheese, well, I've, got, I've got some cheese, but I've got some crackers. So that's all right, and I've got some chicken breast up there and all. So as long as I don't have to cook all this stuff, then I'm fine. So I've just found old Callum and Jack. I don't know what they're trying to fly or what they're trying to break. Trying to duck. <laughs> they're, trying to, they're trying to land.
Why is it not moving that way? To be fair, I even failed to take off, so if you can actually land, so I didn't even get to take off. Wait, we're moving, we're nearly there. Actually, these two have waited so long to get back here, like, they're just like, honestly, like kids at Christmas, trying try to land whatever they're trying to land, and I didn't even get to take off, take off, so they're going to be in there for a while, so we're going to go for a I think we're going for a move upstairs, actually, because there's some, like, exhibition stuff up there, so I think we're going over there, I don't know, I think I, I saw Deb going up there a minute ago, so, oh yeah, Deb's up there, so we're going to go up there. That's going to try and... Fly a spaceship, I think? A rocket? Is it wrong that you look like Iron Man? Successful launch, well done. You've got four different departures you can go on. You can go to Red Planet, Cosmic Wonders, Daring Explorers, and Uncharted Worlds, but they are simulator rides. However, you can go into an observation bay, which apparently is very similar but without any motion so we're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a look in here and see what this does but i don't know all right you guys we're going to do cosmic wonders three Back to the gate shortly. It's been a pleasure having you all on board today for this journey to the stars. 
quite cool, like, you, mm. it's kind of like, as, it, as it's was saying, it's a little bit like, um, if you've ever done soaring, you can, that's what the simulator rides are like, or you can just go into the observation, the observation field that we went into there, um, and just watch it without the movement on that. And after, that was awesome, that. you get to see, you can get to see all four. Uh, we just did it for two of them, then we've come back out because we've got to meet the rest of the guys. But yeah, if you don't like simulator rides and stuff like, and you don't like soaring, yes. I don't like soaring, and I've just really enjoyed that. Yeah, when you when you come up to the space, when you come up to here, if you go straight on rather than turning, rather than turning the simulators, if you just go straight on the observation bit, uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Like definitely. definitely. As well, we've just come back downstairs and it turns out the guys have actually been waiting in the queue for the last half hour. About half an hour, yeah. To do the simulator one where we've just been watching them in the <laughs> observation bay straight away. So, after the other. if you don't like simulators and you don't want to wait in queues, jump in the observation bay. Definitely. Mars was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be like, not going to lie. Have you seen a big curious? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> You've had these wheels on our car? I was about to say, Deb, can I have them wheels <laughs> on my car when I get home? Yeah, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, so we've come on to the <laughs> bus tour, and you've got. TV so you can see what's going on on the tour and where the bits are but I'm planning on just if I can just stick my camera out the window and see what we can see. It was built in the 1960s for the Apollo program. Every Saturn V rocket that sent humans to the moon was assembled right here. Every space shuttle mission also assembled within these same walls. After the space shuttle program, a major renovation to the inside of this building began to accommodate NASA's next generation of rockets, the Space Launch System, or SLS. Those are the former orbiter processing facilities. That was where they processed the orbiters for the shuttle program. Boeing is now leasing those buildings, one of them they're using to house their top secret spacecraft called the X-37B. Right up here on your left, inside this fenced-in area, this is uh, the old crew access arm from launch pad 39A from the shuttle program, 12.07 a.m. That date and time can also change. Can change. If you look at high bay three, inside high bay three, that is the uh, mobile launcher that so has the new the SLS ones, rocket they on it. Take that the down there. Will be that and they take the rockets down. It actually each one of these roads is just literally either side of it. They actually straddle the grass. Right here on your left, this is one of our crawler transporters. This is the one that NASA will be using to transport the new SLS rockets. On the very consoles we sat in when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap. Wow. That is one. Try not to swear, but that's one big ass rocket. Jeez, man. That is just ridiculous. I have to switch back to me wide angle camera again just to actually get the whole thing in. That's just ginormous. Just go and stand in the middle of there for me. That's fine, just go. I just want to show the, the actual scale of this rocket on the wide angle lens. And that's 10. <laughs> and that's the size of the rockets. That is just ridiculous. Again, from the side, just try to get the scale of this rocket. It's like just miles away in the distance. It is absolutely. Did I see it? It's absolutely ridiculously huge. I'm seriously struggling to point out the size of this rocket. It is just absolutely. It makes my ego look like a little speck of dust. The size of this thing. And we all know how big my ego can be.
Right, I'm just going to stand at the end of it. I'm just going to I'm just going to record while I walk the full length of this rocket. So this is me standing right at this end of it. So it's going to switch camera round. I'm just going to walk the full length. Here we go. As you're passing, looks like a few of the badges that people wore as well. But I'm just. Continue to walk the full length of this rocket. It is just It's just it's just unfathomable And then you got the second stage there But I still have not finished walking the full length of this yet as you can see it's because I'm still on the video If I hadn't done a work, if I hadn't done a workout so far today, I certainly have now. And yep, that's right. I am still walking. And then we've got the final stage there, and then we're going to get all the way up eventually to the actual lunar landing module. But we're still continuing to go, still continuing to walk. Here and almost there, almost there, and finally reached the end of the rocket. That has just took me a minute and a half walking down here, and then, yes, that is it, all the way back down there. Not this video is going to do it justice, but that little speck you can see in the middle there, if I just zoom in. Zoom into there, that is actually SpaceX's launch pad, where they send their Falcon rockets up to the space station. And then if I just turn slightly this way, NASA's big building, maybe four again there, but I won't. The VAB, the Vehicle, Vehicle Assembly Vehicle. Building. It is absolutely huge. Just on a little side note though, if you are going to be on the tour, um, if when you get on the bus, make sure you sit on the left hand side behind the, on the driver's side, because uh, that way you will get the, the best view of the building because it does go past the building that way. So if you sit on the right hand side like we did, unfortunately, you don't get the best view. So if you are going to be on the, on the tour, Make sure you sit on the left, the left hand side, on the on the driver's side. You will get the best views. But it's still awesome. This is just so surreal to stand in here and SpaceX is just, just there. SpaceX just, just there. SpaceX just there. NASA's building just there. There's launch pads everywhere. It just it is just like I'm not crying, you're crying. I've got my glasses on. You are it's it's sunny outside man. It's, it's <laughs> It's this, this 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 cloud that you see behind us is all it's it's all it's all just a figment of your imagination. But oh, yeah, there's noise in Disney. There is there is a little bit of twilight dust, nothing about. I'm not gonna lie. And then you've got the little naughty sized version of it. It's kind of and even the little naughty sized version is still quite a big version of the rocket. But that's the naughty sized version. I'm gonna turn back. Proper size version. It still looks stupid with Deb standing in it as well, the size of it. Got a mock up of the of the moon with the lunar landing module. With I'm assuming that's Neil Armstrong and that down here. Or as some might say it. This is just you really actually used in real life. Ooh. Comment down below what you think. Yeah, it's just awesome in here. You can actually learn a sample. 
can actually touch the moon. <laughs> touch the moon. I touch the moon. There you go. I've just touched whatever that is. And now I am busy leaving my footprints on the moon. That's cool. And now we've got the Apollo 14. It is just, honestly, there is just, there's far too much to record in here. It's like when we first decided we'll come and eat it here, it was like, oh, it opened from nine and a half past six. And I was like, are we going to be able to spend a full day here? Is there going to be enough to occupy us for the, for the full day? I'd, and then some. You've got different spacesuits. Some of the, like the gloves, some of the tools they actually used. Television camera. They've got the maps of the, of the lunar surface. Contingency plan checklist. The sample bags and dispensers that were actually, they actually used. Keyboard assembly guidance computer. Just a space suit maintenance kit as well, just to make sure that your kit was alright. But apparently, there is still more technology in this phone that I'm actually using in this camera to make these vlogs than was actually in all of that machinery and all of them computers to actually send the rocket to the moon. So, how technology has come on as well. Yeah, we can go to the shop. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yep, fancy. Yep. I think, yeah. I'll put the story line. I'll just, uh, and then a little bit further there so you can actually get a. Get a chopper on that. I reckon there. Yeah. I've seen this like Bunch Reagan. I think it's dark, yes. Yeah. To infinity and beyond. Fair There was just far too much merch in that shop. I could have just. We could have played in there all day with a merch like apart from Deb when there's a big Saturn V rocket and she actually she was gonna get me for Christmas and she was gonna get one that actually put it in the suitcase and we were back because on the website it looked as though it was about six inches. Yeah, I really should have loved the dimensions of it. But it was about two foot long. So yeah, good luck to them trying to get that back in the suitcase. Yeah, that one back. But we are now heading back on the tour bus back over to the main complex a bit to get some food because we're we'll carrying hungry like. And the place that we were in smelt lovely, so we're going to get some food from there. So we're going to get some food from there. Again, sitting about the wide angle lens for the camera, just so you can see the scale of this. It is just absolutely amazing. And then back the normal camera. And again, just so you can see the scale of <laughs> the size of the rockets, these take the space shuttles up. It's ridiculous. Right, how then? Let's go into Atlantis. 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 See, see space of Atlantis. Them rocket boosters are just awesome. Like, but yeah, let's go in and see what's happening in this part of this, this part of Kennedy Space Center. <laughs>
once again. I understand I'm not seeing much, but you've just got to be here to appreciate it. You can't really get us. Oh, there you go, I'll do it. Just, just, just wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. A lot of twilight just knocking around in this place, like honestly, a lot of twilight dust. But that is just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not looking at the camera, I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at the artist behind us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. I can't wait for the boys to see this as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have been here for their reaction yeah. as well. But, uh, yeah. Instead of the backside of water, we got the backside of Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the camera on the wide angle lens, it's still struggling to get the whole. Just. You named a game after me? Working with the old body arm. Right, while we're waiting for them to come off the simulator. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find in this shop or gift shop. Backpacks, purses. Pretty much everything we've just seen in the other gift shops, but only on a smaller scale. Don't know where the rest of them have gone. I don't know, I think I am all by myself. There goes are quite cool. Oh, that one looks expensive. $235 plus tax. Space station ain't too bad though, $275 plus tax for that one. It's still expensive, but it looks quite cool, like. Yeah, she uh, she said it's, it's a nice accent. Yeah. It's a, it was the accent. It's a, 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 Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, folks, right. On a scale of one to ten, how happy are you right now, Jack? Yeah, boy. Right, let's see what we can find in NASA Space Shop World's Biggest. I reckon we're going to find the same stuff as we found in the other shops, but more of it. Hold on. Steph's found something already. I did dream big and I got you. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah, this is actually a bigger shop. I'm from by the looks of it. Because around there. And it is actually on two levels, this one. It is quite a big store. Uh, we are now heading back to the van to go home. We were meant to be going to Cocoa Beach. But our Robin and Liam waited like over an hour for the simulator the ride, which, amazing ride in which the they world. said was the most amazing thing in the world. Like, and they are so glad that we are not going to Cocoa Beach now because that ride was really, really worth the wait. <laughs> and they said that like just they wouldn't do anything else in the world. Next time they come here, they're just going to go straight at that ride. Yeah. And they're going to they're going to just ride it and ride it and ride it and ride it. So yeah, no Cocoa Beach today. Now we are going home. That way. I mean, just say though, we've had an absolutely outstanding oh, time here. Like, if you get the chance, come to Kennedy Space Centre. There wasn't phenomenal. even, like, we thought we were only going to spend a couple hours here and then go to Cocoa Beach for most of the day. But I haven't even, like, videoed half of the stuff. And there was just so much to watch, so much to, so much to do, so much to look at. We could have stayed there for even longer. Um, but it, it, it's closed now, so we are going home. But yeah, um, according to Robbie and Elaine, do not wait for the simulator, the simulator ride. ride. This is just no, they are. Go in the shops like we did. 
the, the gutter that they're waiting all that time for that um, at the expense of going to the beach. But yeah, that's hey ho, can't change it. So we are now off back to the van the to van. go home. You're crazy. I must be a married you. Yeah, well, to be fair, that has been said before. So, mm. right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now back at the village. So, we're going to finish today's vlog here and we're just going to spend a bit of time with the family, just playing some games and that later on because it's only actually quarter to eight. And Big Lash has put some tea in for us all. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, Kennedy Space Centre. Just wow. Yeah. A um, little bit of twilight does not run out today, like we said, um, <laughs> because some of the stuff, especially when you go into Atlantis, um, I'm just going to leave that there for you. So, absolutely amazing day. If you've been, you'll know what we're talking about. Yeah, absolutely just class. Well, see you um, on the vlog. Ah, yes, you see it on the vlog. Um, but, yeah, loads to look at, loads to play with, there's some very immersive stuff in there to just enjoy your day. There's, there's lots of stuff to, to walk around and see. And to look at, and some of the stuff in there is just so big, it's just it's huge. But, yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you are new around here, please remember to like, subscribe, and I don't know why I keep doing that, honestly. I really, but uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share so we can continue doing this. And um, we've had an absolutely fantastic day today. Yeah. Um, and tomorrow, be. Our guest. I'm going to be, be our, our guest. guest. I'm so excited. Yeah. If you know me well, you'll know I love Beauty and the Beast. When we got married, it, we had little Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Put my tattoo bit. on there somewhere, Beauty and the Beast. It's somewhere on there. But yeah, I love Beauty and the Beast. And I've, I've always wanted to eat to be our guest. And yeah, it's expensive. But why Didn't not? Didn't care, it's be our guest. Yeah, I know you want. Yeah. And uh, then it is Drink the World. Um, for our Robbie, Elaine, our Jack, and I don't think I must do that, I think it's just three of them. Um, I was apparently meant to be doing Drink the World, however, due to circumstances beyond my control. And the fact that Deb hasn't drove the van yet, and I really don't really fancy her driving the van in the dark it's, it's by herself. It's got no power steering, and like, I no. can't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so no Drink the World for me tomorrow, um, which, to be fair, I don't know if I would have done it anyway. But, It'd be yep, funny though. Magic Kingdom, then Epcot for some more fun so late night. until then thank you very much for watching thank like you. subscribe and share and good night sorry sure. <laughs> good night Bye.